What's up, folks? Uh, welcome back. I'm Daily Fix, and yes, um, <laughs> we are back. Uh, so, for those of you who are following the previous series on the Terran Cadet, welcome again to the start of the Terran Cadet. I've talked brief. I've talked briefly about this in my community tab, and I've made some decisions which I am not proud of, and that I need to uh, rectify. So here we are again. Uh, also, for those of you who are interested in knowing the previous game, I had about 120 off-camera hours, and oh my, um, I kind of never want to do that again. Also, um, I'm testing out this um, NVIDIA broadcasting thing, which uh, removes my background. It, it, it probably, it, frank, it, it just flickers a bit, and I'm hoping it's not too annoying, but hey, it is the, um, the next best thing. I guess, towards a green screen uh, in the future. Uh, we'll see about that. So let's get uh, started. We got, uh, we got some mods, um, as we can see over here. Um, escape teleport is off because you took kind of don't need this anymore. Faction enhancers, all of them, fly by loading, and some variety stuff. Uh, link in the description for the mod pack. Also link to about every other thing that I use. So if you want to join the Discord, please consider doing so. Uh, talk to me about X4 and how I mess things up. Um, as for that, let's make sure that we got um, active steering. Let's unpause and let's get started again. Uh, tell me again why we're stuck with maintenance duty in Mars of all places. Okay, let's Satellite. get going. attack our backyard and they will <sighs> this one's fine go check that satellite over there I'll just head over this way so we'll uh, activate the uh, other part do you okay, actually um, I've in my previous series I kind of missed disengaged I missed a system in the Terran space <laughs> We're already three months out of cadet school and they still bob us off with housekeeping jobs we I love this guy. There, with intervention, saving the universe. Wait, that one's missing. Why is it? Mission command says to just deploy a new one. Yep. <laughs> See, they don't even care. Okay, let's go check on my wingmate again. Satellite. It's as if they're keeping us away from the fight on purpose. Trained pilots are among the most vital resources of the Terran Protectorate. I kind of hope that Terran um... aces are known to decimate entire squadrons of adversaries through superior maneuvers. You, by contrast, have none of these qualities. Gee, thanks, Nelly. Can uh, can we act deactivate these messages? Like press Shift Space to deactivate steering mode. Is that possible? Also, if you are new to the game. There are a few settings in here that uh, you want to turn on. Uh, like the aim assist. And like maintaining speed in menus. And show tool tips. Let's turn that off. Maybe that actually gets rid of that message. Let's take a look. No, it doesn't. Oh, that is really obnoxious. Is that really no way? If you, if you know a way to actually turn these off, let me know. Okay, now let's get over to the satellite. So about this series, um, we're going to be all Terran, all Terran, and see what happens. Uh, diagnostics are taking a tad long on this one. You go on ahead. I'll catch up with you. Satellite. Uh, maybe the older pilot is actually Engaged. a bit better with this. Um, uh, I guess we're supposed to show off our superior maneuvers to these mm -hmm. useless tin cans. Oh, he's bullshitting you. These he's ships are actually forward. quite good. Typical. Autopilot disengaged. Oh wow, the autopilot actually is uh, is quite good. Uh, let's make yeah, sure you get done. really close to this. Have to get out of your ship and, repair it manually. and make sure that your ship is above it. So something like this. Then the control D. So if you don't know travel mode, shift one. Scan um, resource mode is, uh, is 
Shift 2 and 3 okay. is your scanning mode. Shift 4 eventually is your, your yeah, cedar. That one's completely trashed. And it looks like it's been that way for... 13 Earth days, 22 Earth hours, 9... Damn! Just goes to show that nobody cares about this place. And also, uh, if you press Maybe. Shift D, Maybe. you can actually get your docking mode. Sector, club. Also, I repeat. if you press uh, Shift, mission command. We have a civilian ship signaling distress from the outskirts of the sector. Apparently, they're having some sort of emergency. Uh, engine failure. Permission to investigate. Yeah, granted. Mars doesn't. Do accidents, cadet. Okay, so. Permission granted. Proceed with caution. Thank you. <laughs> Finally, some action. <laughs> Let's put our maintenance skills to good use for once, eh? Yeah, how about you shut up right now? Uh, if you press shift, one, two, three, four. Now, you have like the best mode ever. <laughs> Okay, let's get over here. Uh, we need to get into this um, into this circle, then go shift free for the long range scanners. And we're going to be um, looking for that distress signal, which I feel is uh, is this. Autopilot disengage. Yeah. Don't worry, citizens. The cavalry's here. Okay. Now. One other thing you want to change in your settings, if you are like me and a complete idiot about changing um, controls, uh, this is the control setting, going to general, go towards, uh, let's see, I believe it's, um, where are you now? Here you go, the T1. In menu access, there is, we want to go towards hostile. Where are you? The other one is, I believe, like Shift E. Target objects, target hostile objects. Yeah, target management. If you press, this will change these two around. Uh, usually, the closest hostile is on Shift E, and the target object is T. And um, I feel it is easier to use these around because if you are in a combat situation, pressing T is a Hell of a lot easier than um, pressing Shift E. Um, next target, previous target is page up, page down, and surface elements is home and end for the uh, other keyboards. I'm not sure if it's for everyone it's the same, but you know I find it uh, really easy to use it like this. So we're getting close, and yes, we will get into a combat situation. Just as a spoiler alert for you. We'll um, get them very closely. Oh, there you go. Breaking formation. Okay, scroll up and go. Uh, come on. Why don't you die, mate? It is your chance to go down in a ball of Again. flaming glory. Okay, where is this guy? Go. Um, don't let your weapons overheat on the right side. You can see that um, blue bar eventually. It uh, it will turn in red. And sometimes it's also easier for the aim assist to just... Sometimes just press it a few times. Instead of just hammering down on that space bar. Seriously? What the? Since when does Xenon send out fake distress signals? Who says that Xenon sent it? It could have been this uh, this contraption. Ah, uh, looks like a large transport Analysis. ship. Classification: High Tech Trader. Crew: Deceased. Cargo. No shit. Classified: Reconstructing events. Processing. 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 Permission has been denied. Investigation terminated. Yeah, we. I. I can go. That's that. quite enough. 
Our specialists will take over from here. <laughs> and you, cadets, will hear from me shortly. Shortly. Dismissed. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we'll start yapping a bit. Um, there's these satellites that make no sense whatsoever. Uh, did we break some sort of protocol? Uh, I'm not seeing any reprimands in my profile. Well, at least that maintenance task has been cleared, eh? So, I guess we're officially on recovery? Uh, let's find something else to do until Mission Command comes back to haunt us. I'll stick with you. Okay, uh, we're going to be um, looking for these uh, stations and also just look around a bit and press that radar. Uh, that long range scanner till that bar is completely blue. Zoom out, and there is a, a lockbox over here, which we are going to go for, because we are very, very oh, greedy, object. Terrence. And I need a lot of cash. So, what my goal is for so this, is for him to stop talking. Someone or something raided that trading vessel for highly classified high-tech goods. They knew the trade route in the outer reaches of our stronghold sector and took out nearby satellites to let the distress signal run aground. And on top of that, Xenon scouts are still drawn to the wreckage days after the incident. <clears throat> Something's brewing. So here we go, we got a lockbox. Uh, easiest way for you to do this is just assign a new weapon group and I don't know which which weapon is. I usually go for like the middle first or the third one. It doesn't really matter. Just and you can switch this by just pressing your uh, one or two key. Um, the other menu is L. So right now I just use one shot so I can get my mouse to actually go ahead and press these. Let's make sure that I don't destroy this thing. That would be very annoying if I do. Uh, one misfire will blow this thing up. So be careful. If you want to salvage what is inside. Okay, let's go over here towards the side. Also, we're not going to be in a rush. Uh, I don't want to be in a rush anymore. I've been in a rush for a long time in this game. And there we go. There's the goods. What do we get? Now, usually you press O on this. But, considering I have the flyover loot, I don't need to. Let's go over to here. What we have is a security decryption system. And we have a description module. We can sell that on the black market. Advanced targeting modules and carbon filters. We can drop illegal wares or we can hold on to them and so long until they say you need to drop that illegal ware you are having in your inventory, mate. Um, but so far, there is no police inside. So here you can actually see the old gate network, I believe. That um, that could be from the X3. From the um, station. all of that stuff. Let's get over towards these stations and... I think one of these actually is the the trade station and the shipping yard. Yeah. So we're going to be making sure that you don't need to drop a satellite in here if you are going to get the license. Uh, but if you don't, sometimes these construction ships will be in the vicinity of these great air stations. So I would definitely go there. A drop a satellite and also you can see we have a uh, pilot wanted mission very easy uh, they're seeking free pilots delivering terror medical goods really okay well, let's open the briefing in order to expand our operations and meet our next group of targets we are looking to hire a number of pilots to work for us each should be trained as described below and brought or make their way to the following location we need so we need to hire three pilots um that's going to be interesting so we need you just need three level one pilots but we also need to bring them over oh that's going to be a very annoying task uh, considering we just have one ship 
And not a bunch of them. I, I think it works like that. Empty I usually space. just skip those uh, oh, those missions. Pilot. We'll autopilot over that. And we'll drop down a satellite. And actually, we are going to dock here. Because I want to get rid of the... Um, the nav beacons. There's no need for nav beacons. And they're just filling up your inventory. Which is a bad thing. Trust me. You want to get rid of that. Let's dis disengage, disengage the other pilot. Now, the reason I say so. In, uh, in some of the missions you require mines. And these mines need room. And this room is now filled by nav beacons. Which you will never use. Also... You can choose to sell a few resource probes if you want to. Um, but we're also going to see if we can actually sell some of the goods that we have. And perhaps get one or two marines. Docking granted. And let's go over here. I don't know. Do we have a docking computer on this starting ship? So just level till everything is green. Slow down. There you go. Leveling. Make sure you go towards it. Green. And then it's just a matter of bumping your ass down. There you go. No docking computer. Actually, I think a docking computer... No, not even a Mark 1 we have on the ship. Docked. Okay, let's repair and deliver. Can We're we change? To welcome you aboard. Ooh, we actually have Mark 2 shields. Not too expensive, but hey. It's good. I like these false cannons quite a bit, though. We have nothing... Not even a trade extension. Uh, we currently have 40,000. So let's get rid of this junk. And I am going to keep all, hold on to these. Do I hold on to these resource probes? Do I need them for the mission? Oh, I don't think so. Uh, we need satellites. Uh, just keep that up to five. Let's get ourselves two marines. And... This will leave us with how much to play. Trading computer. Eventually, I don't need this ship. Um, I'm hoping to get the, my wingmates Gladius. So, getting a docking computer Mark 1 should be enough. So, let's uh, place this order. Confirm it. Let's get up. Let's see if we can do anything with... Um, With the goods that we have in our inventory. Trading corner. Okay. So, uh, this working bench. Um, once you see, uh, see that, just memorize the stuff you have in your inventory. Never sell that. Because you want a cedar. Trust can me I on help? that. Here you go. Uh, can I sell anything? Carbon filter. Sure. Let's get another 2,000. Uh, management, piloting, seminar, management. We don't need this just yet. Uh, but eventually, definitely want to stock on... Well, basically anything. Just just get the level 1 stuff. And the piloting. And, and, and just get this stuff, whatever. Just don't listen to me. Interface units, needles, rare spices. Anything that I want to have right now. No, can't buy anything. That's a bit of a shame. So let's confirm this. Say goodbye. Good luck out there. Yes, thank you, thank you. This control of shift D will bring you back to your ship. Okay. Let us undock. And we now have our two marines on board. So um, I want to bring these two marines. Uh, because at some point I want to try taking over a ship. And I don't know how bad it will be. So we'll definitely save before we do that. And uh, eventually we'll find a ship. And then I want to take... As soon as possible. So there's definitely a few moments in this game where I will pause and just continue. Now, this mission we were not going to get. Now, in order for you to trigger the next mission, uh, you will have to fly towards this gate. I highly advise you to actually make sure you see these stations. Now, you will find more, but at some point you will start building miners and you want to see what kind of goods they use. Uh, as for our station, actually our system, we haven't located it yet. Um, because I would like to get myself a few level 5 managers in the future. So, what should be our goal for this series? Do we want to 
make the Terran Protectorate strong as ever, or do we eventually, after the entire main mission, uh, break off and just, I don't know, like conquer the galaxy for ourselves? Um, for me personally, I would say conquer the galaxy, but that could be a tad, well, boring to watch. Let's go ahead and look at these trade offers. So they require ice. And they will make protein. Protein paste and Terran MREs are absolutely one of the best things I have uh, ever been producing. Uh, unknown station over there. So let's continue that because that, this is really close to the border. Could be, uh, could be pirate. Disengaged. Uh, make sure the other pilot can Engaged. keeps going. So what kind of station are you? Empty space. It's Unknown not empty station. space. We can see there is a station. Actually, there's... There's MRD two. Packing facility. Unknown station. This is the one that we actually are Auto interested in. Engaged. And it is a medical supply factory as well. Very, very close to the border. Uh, another one over here. So you can actually cross over, I believe. Although that is relatively awkward. I just want to see if we can actually discover all of these. Uh, if we find missions, we will do so. We will definitely do them. Uh, another medical supply. Okay, I think it is time that we go over here. Set guidance. Autopilot. Disengage. Autopilot. And engage. Because engage. there is the police. And we will get scanned. <laughs> Trust me on this. Oh yeah, you will definitely scan us. It has to. Doesn't? Now, I wonder if we should get a police licensing. Maybe maybe he won't be such a, um, an ass. <laughs> because sometimes you will just find you have a lot of illegal wares on you. And you actually need them. We got a mineral miner. A large one, apparently. Hokkaido. Mineral. Uh, is it free? Yes, it is free. Oh, yeah, nice. Look at that. Oh, that is a nice-looking ship. I like those. Orbital defense station. Orbital defense. Cool. Very close to the gate. We actually, apparently... Autopilot. Disengaged. Uh, we have an economical minefield. Uh, deploy three mines. Oh, yes, I don't like those at all. And we have steady trigger finger required. Easy mission. Destroying mines, I accept that. I knew I could count on you. Ah, yes, you can count on me. There's a bunch of mines over there. That's autopilot. And uh, we will... Actually, I'm not going to autopilot. The autopilot will get you so close into your bloody mines. What are we doing? <laughs> What's the ship doing? Don't do that. Okay, let's go back. Um, let's get this mission done. Uh, we'll get some cash. Like I said, we, we just want to hold up on cash. Oh yeah, this is the best piloting you will ever see. There we go. Terran security to Talati vessel. You are approaching Terran restricted space. I wish Please I could take the move. Course. This is Talati Trader Lucrative Investments to Terran Patrol. We are looking for mutual opportunities to make profits. We are not interested. We insist that you divert your course. But we can surely achieve mutual benefit from... Negative. We demand that you change course immediately. Maybe we can persuade you with valuable information about... We order you to change your course immediately, or we will be obliged to take measures to protect the safety and security of this system. Okay, okay. Changing course. The unrealized profits from this unfortunate loss of opportunity are split equally between each of us. Oh, looks like we're still in Mission Command's good books. They just sent us a posting for a border assignment. Wow, okay. Ah, there we go. So they're now scanning us. And sorry for that. My dogs hurt something. And that is really annoying. Uh, yes, you will find new offers in the tab. Just press ask to get rid of it. We are going towards that minefield. Uh, to get some cash. 
Okay, let's at least target one. And in this situation with mines, that page up and down key are actually quite good to use. I'm sorry for that. I didn't mean to actually get out of travel mode. Uh, let's continue. Um, is that another gate? Yeah, I think so. It is another gate. Unknown object. Okay, so we're at 90k. Uh, around the 25, maybe 30 mark, we'll, uh, we'll definitely want to slow down. Maybe a bit sooner, because I'm always terrified of mines, and... Yeah, I hate them. Let's, let's be frank here. Unknown object. It doesn't take too long to actually get that. It just cost me a bit of shield. But just take your time. And it's actually near a defensive station. Damn, really? What did you do to actually get these mines deployed over here? I bet you had to pay someone like me to drop mines and he exploded. We could actually do that mining mission, but we would have to try to get a friend of foe mines. Unknown object. Okay, so I believe that we can shoot... 2.5k. Unknown object. Okay, let's Unknown just... Unknown object. It's actually down here right Friend now. Mine. There you go. Friend foe mine. It's actually behind us. Wow. Yeah, I'm, I'm lucky it's a friend Hokkaido. of foe mine. Mineral. Okay, friend maybe that uh, page up down is not the... It was moving. Unknown that object. mine was moving. Unknown object. Okay, 3 kilometers. That's a bit Unknown much. Unknown object. Unknown object. Uh, apparently, that one disappeared on us. Unknown object. So they actually mined the station, it feels like. Unknown object. Unknown object. Unknown object. That's 4.7. Actually, wow, 4.7 is red. No bloody way. How Unknown far can object. these weapons fire? Damn, 5... 5,000 as well? Object. Bloody hell. 5-3? Five, no, 5-3 five, is a bit much. So, about 5 kilometers then. Damn. That is Unknown quite a bit. Object. How many mines are there? Unknown object. Okay, we'll, um, we'll find all Unknown of them. Object. Unknown object. That's six. That's quite a bit. Serious, what the hell did you guys do to get these mines all over the place? Unknown object. Unknown object. Unknown object. Oh? Oh, someone has a bad day. Unknown object. Ooh, someone's getting shot at like crazy. And there we go. We received 50,000 for destroying a bunch of mines. And we are near our defensive uh, place. We can start with the um, the Terran Protectorate. Which I believe we need to go over, over there. Oh, we pilot. will. We'll get that mission because that will just follow up on itself. Please halt. We will be scanning your inventory. Yeah, we have illegal goods. I wonder what they will do. I'm going to I'm going to say and wait. I'm not going to drop those illegal wares right away. Apparently nothing. Interesting. Now you would assume that the uh, the police would follow you, but hey, fine by me. I also believe there is another gate in here somewhere. So maybe we'll get very close to the one gate. And we'll just see. Yeah, there is a station over there as well. So 
So we'll get this mission, and once we actually get it, I will be ending the uh, the episode. Hopefully you've enjoyed, and uh, let me know what you think about this um, this world world weird camp thing. Um, the first two episodes will have it uh, for sure. Sorry for the cut uh, if you don't like it. Uh, but I actually wanted to try it out uh, because X4 can be a very demanding game. So let's head over there. Let's deactivate the autopilot. autopilot. Disengaged. Okay, let's slow down and get into... I love these stations. They look so, so gorgeous. They really do look good. And there is a mission over here as well. So maybe we can take that. Oh, let's see how this Mark 1 docking computer is going to work for us. General direction, and there we go. Oh yeah, that, that saves us a buttload of time. Successfully docked. Okay, let's get up. Let's go towards the um, the defensive officer. We're pleased to welcome you aboard. The war room. And here we are. Pilot, always good to see a new recruit. I am in charge of coordinating the Terran Protectorate's response to the Xenon threat. My priorities are twofold. To keep the soul system safe from all harm and to direct the intervention core towards the enemy holed up in the furthest reaches of the universe. The military would not have approached you if you weren't a friend of the Protectorate. Xenon forces are vast, Makes so sense. we are always in need of manpower. Since it is our mission to seek out all Xenon strongholds, our military campaigns regularly push into hostile territory far away from any possible support. Because of this, we can only recruit the most capable pilots. You will have to submit to a test. Your race and former affiliations do not matter, as long as you swear allegiance to our cause. I will, uh, definitely. You will be granted the choice of many tasks, from combat deployments to construction work. What is available will depend on the current situation in the area. You will be paid as you complete your allotted tasks, and we may see fit to reward you further at the conclusion. Okay, now uh, let's get started. Excellent. You will now find tasks related to our ongoing campaign against the Xenon in your mission interface. And some of these missions can be very nice, as you can see over here. Um, we only have hard and medium missions, but the heavy construction operation, and there's, there's definitely there will be construction operations, and they will be very profitable. So, yeah, interesting. As for now, thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Bye-bye.